All right, so there's a rise and a, de a decay time, also known as a rise and a fall time with an amplitude spectrum. So just because something turns on, there's a bit of a start and a finish, and that's called the rise decay time. I compare it to fluorescent lights in a classroom. You know how sometimes they take a little bit of time to get going? That would be a rise time. So when a sine wave or other signal of fair long duration is turned on, the maximum amplitude isn't obtained instantly. Instead, the amplitude is made to rise over time from zero to some maximum or steady state value. So we have a spectrum and we have a waveform. So at the top is the waveform. And you see how it, it takes just a little bit of time to meet its maximum amplitude. And that is reflected in the spectrum. So we have these little like lulls in the energy before it gets to its maximum amplitude. And a little bit of time for it to decay before it goes back to maximum zero. So the energy is spread out over the other frequencies. And the beginning and the end of the signal produces transients or like extra energy. It's not a good thing. Distortion. Transient distortion, time distortion. So you have a little bit of rise time and a little bit of fall time. That's distortion. It doesn't just automatically happen. So when energy is spread to the other frequencies, you have distortion. And it's called transient distortion or the process of creating transients. And think of it as a fluorescent light turning on. There's some distortion before it gets to its full signal. And that's called the rise decay time. The longer the duration over which the signal is rising or decaying, the narrower the frequency band over which the energy is spread in both directions. Thus, slow rising or slowly decaying signals are characterized by less transient distortion than signals for which amplitude rises and decays very quickly.